Does Rick Shields play on the PJ Tour? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I searched, does Rick Shields, right? And there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven or eight things that came out straight away. Okay. On does Rick Shields. So I'm going to start at the I'm lowest quite, rank one and work my way up. I'm quite nervous about There's this. There's something you probably won't want to answer, but let's see. So in at number, let me just check again. One, two, eight there is. So number eight, what shot tracer does Rick Shields use? Honestly, is that? That's number eight on does Rick Shields on Google. So I use an app called Shot Tracer app. It get, it gets horrendous views on the app store. Have you ever seen the app store reviews? What? No, like, no. It's terrible. And I think the reason is because people don't set it up correctly. They don't have it on a tripod or whatever. So I use Shot Tracer app. I also have the MacBook app as well, which is phenomenal. Uh, the guys over there have always looked after me. I think it is a paid app, um, but it is one of the best ones you can get. We get asked that, or you get asked that a lot, but I don't get why people are that bothered if you're not making golf videos. Yeah, why, just, I don't why know. do people do it? The only no. thing is, that it's not as it's not, almost not as automatic as people think it is mm. going to be. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. I think people think the app is literally going to be like almost, and it wouldn't surprise me if some people thought it might even be a launch monitor. Yeah, that's you know, what It that, almost yeah. gives you data where it doesn't. It just draws a line after taking clips from your video and again you've got to use a good phone you've got to have good lighting it's, the camera's got to be stable but yeah shot tracer app so that was number eight okay <laughs> <laughs> in at number seven was um how much does rick shields make a year wow what it's very very question. personal how are you going to answer that one obviously i'm going to answer it directly but what's going to be uh my get out yeah, I need to answer it like a politician, don't I? Yeah. Well, it's interesting you ask about what <laughs> I uh, what I earn per year because one of the things that I would like to know is um, how many dimples are on a golf ball. And I think <laughs> I think if you tie those two questions together, you might come up with the answer. Yeah, it's not a question I'd like to answer, but um, you know, there's a better one though coming in a minute that kind of links to that. So I don't want to okay. keep that on there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next one, number six. Um, what irons does Rick Shields use? Currently, I have. I've got to have to really think then been that long even though i've carried them on my back for 14 days in a row uh taylor may p7 mcs so i've had them in the bag now for a while now actually can because was that last summer they came out no oh, not the summer i think end of last um, i'm gonna go september I'll have a quick check when the, that was you know when you said then what irons have you got in my head i was thinking of the uh wilson cavity backs. i know i did for a minute it's weird that isn't it and i also thought i did they still have the ping eye blades in yeah or blueprints whatever they were called taylor made p7 I want to say September they came out. MCs. Uh, five months ago. So that would have been uh, 17th of August. All right. That wow. is. A while. I need some new, new irons. Next one. This is very, very relevant with what today's video will be, Tuesday. Okay. What putter does Rick Shields use? Ooh. Currently, ER2 Black. Uh, even roll, ER2 Black. Uh, I've had, again, putter I've had in the bag for a long time. Even if it wasn't the black version, which I put in last year, I had the kind of chrome original version for a couple of years now. I, it might be rocking on for nearly three years I've had that putter in the you, bag. You've had, this is how I remember it, you've, since I've worked with you, which was October 17, you've had an even roll. You had the silver one, chrome, whatever, yeah, and yeah. now the black. You've oh, never so had, had a different long. one. Yeah, wow. definitely. Um, but I am releasing a video today, again, Tuesday, the 16th of February, where I review a new putter, which I'm saying is almost perfect. Mm -hmm. Or is it the perfect putter? Find out in my review later today what I actually think about it and whether I'll put it in the bag. It's in my bag, that putter. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I've got one. Like it. Not obviously used it yet, but I've rolled a few in the uh, <laughs> office upstairs with some Pro V ones. It takes me back to being a junior, that getting your clubs out and rolling a couple of balls. In the hallway, in the carpet. Yes, but you know what's really quite worrying at the minute? I'm starting to do yoga. I've only done like what, a couple of sessions because, really? yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a really good YouTube channel called Yoga with Adriana or Adrian. She's a woman and um, she's got nearly 10 million subs. The, she's the, absolutely killing it. The thumbnail get you in. Yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say something horrible, then it got. No, I'm not saying that. I was gonna say, um, but that's it's yeah because this is why I'm doing it. My hamstrings, my lower back, and like my hips are really stiff. Right, I was upstairs. I think I had four puts with this new putter. My back was killing. Oh, wow. That's not right for no, a 30 year old person. That is it. So I really want to get more flexible. So that's okay. my mission. Um, but this is a good question. So this is number five. I think it is on the list. How does Rick Shields make money? Mm, interesting question. Um, Hustles. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I make money through YouTube ad revenue. Mm -hmm. So YouTube is effectively the, the well, not the boss, but that's 
YouTube is how I make money. So I, I release videos on there and then through the AdSense revenue, for every thousand people watch the video, I basically get money from that. And that goes back into the business to pay for staff. We're up to now five members of staff, obviously you being one of them, Matt and Harry are behind the camera right now and also Tim as well. So I'm me, obviously I'm the fifth member of staff. Um, it goes back into production, it goes back into paying wages, but also obviously it's my living as well. So YouTube, Facebook, podcast sponsorships, exterior sp uh, sponsorships as well, which we will come on yes. to later on today. Uh, one of my big partners with Garmin, um, you know, and, and then also I've done things that are, what's the right word, like appearances or, um, I'm trying to think of a good example of when I've done one. Like when I did, I hosted the open content, yeah. let's say or did driver versus driver with the golf channel. Yeah. Um, so that they're kind of strands of, of revenue stream as well. Um, I don't coach anymore. That's something that I've kind of put on the back burner for the time being. Never say never. Don't say too much on that. Okay. I'll tell you why in a sec. <laughs> it's one of the next yes. questions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why Medallica is a big secret. Then obviously it's one of the next. <laughs> like, don't say that one. Um, yeah, that's that's what I think I had something else to say then. I can't think what it was. It was on that. Oh yeah, what it was going to be. And um, just touching on that like, YouTube and revenue and stuff. Sometimes, and this is absolutely fine, people don't understand that YouTube, YouTubers make money off YouTube. But I sometimes use the example to people, it's like when you get a free magazine or a free local newspaper, there's adverts in there that obviously are paying for that piece of content to be produced. It's the same on YouTube. You might watch a, a short advert before a video and that's how the creator makes money. I think that's the one thing that confuses some people who maybe don't know how the YouTube model works. They don't understand why I'm making a piece of content for free. Yeah. They watch it for free and they presume I make that money from the brand yeah. as opposed to being YouTube. Yeah. Where they, so, well, no way did you make that video as a tailor-made review, let's say, and tailor-made didn't pay you. Well, tailor-made didn't pay me. I made that money through a really good piece of content that goes out, gets gets distributed worldwide um and then that's how they make the money for the and adverts on that if you don't like ads this is the this is how much you have to decide if you don't like adverts because some people moan about the adverts which i kind of get you can pay for advert free youtube yeah. premium which i do pay for and it's 15 quid a month now that comes out your bank every month it's not, it's not only 15 quid but it's like oh flipping heck but i hate watching ads and i watch a lot of youtube so it's, yeah. a, it's, it's one of those things if you di if you really despise the adverts like well you can pay to get rid of them but it's do you want to pay 15 yeah, pound every exactly. month depends how much you watch and the benefit of that, you can watch or listen to YouTube with the app closed. That is a good benefit, to be fair. You can swipe up on that. Yeah, I do a lot. Um, this one you won't want to be too specific on, I'm guessing, but where does Rick Shields live? Uh, Northwest England. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is whoever's, this. so I'm guessing, I think but, how... But I'll tell you what's really interesting on that. Recently, when I've been going out on my walk, certainly nearby, the amount of people that have like stopped and gone, are you Rick Shields? I'm like, yeah. What are you doing around here? Oh, yeah. I, I live around here. <laughs> and they're like, never knew that I lived in certain place. So I'm guessing the reason these are in this order is because of how commonly they get asked. Okay. Now, I can't believe this is number two because okay. people are asking this question. Don't watch the videos, clearly. You ready for it? Yeah. <laughs> Almost obscene. Does Rick Shields play on the PJ Tour? Wow. <laughs> 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 it was a question I got asked recently. My wires are all... What am I doing your here? wires are really working me up today. They're all around your feet and <laughs> just any minute you're going to pull doing? everything out. Um, one <laughs> <are you> doing? <laughs> a bit of yoga there for you. Um, I don't play on the PJ Tour. I don't play on the European Tour. I don't play on any tour whatsoever because I'm nowhere near good enough. It's a question I got asked recently on my live video as well. I did on YouTube. Why are you not on tour? It's, it's not. It would have been a goal of 11 year old up to probably about 15 year old Rick Shields. Mm -hmm. But probably when I got to college, we spoke about it recently on the podcast when we were out on the golf course last week walking around. Um, it was at that point when I realised I was nowhere near good enough when I started to see other players and went, nah, that's not me. I still wanted to play as a professional potentially, but I, you really do need different level of dedication well, and talent. We're going to come on to a really good question today, dear Rick. So that's, that's okay, there. But right. also, actually just touching on that, I forgot to mention this at the start of the show, you, you alluded to it then, was the last podcast, the bonus podcast. So today's, as we're speaking now, I think is number... 61. 61. So number 60, you may have not kind of realised where that one was. It was last week on the bonus podcast on Thursday where we were walking around the golf course for your um, Walk 18. It's had a really good reception. Yeah, have yeah, you seen the, done well, hasn't it? The numbers are really strong, but the amount of comments people said, because I was quite conscious that there was literally no structure to it. And we went out walking. The audio wasn't fantastic. Our clubs were clanging. But the feedback yeah. has been class. I think I think it, it summarised 
almost exactly why I'm doing that walk 18. He did. Because it was exactly the sort of nonsense you talk about with your mates when you're out playing golf. And unless we recorded that, and this is always an interesting one for me, if we hadn't, if we hadn't recorded that and got in the car park or the day later and said, what did we talk about yesterday? We'd have no idea what we spoke about. But we spoke for an hour, and like I say, out on the golf course, you speak for four hours. The amount of times I play with mates, and uh, Claire might know him, and Claire knows the, the partners and stuff. She go, so what did you all talk about? I'm like, Don't know. no idea. Yeah, we spoke for four hours, but I have no idea what we what we spoke about. But I loved every minute of it. Well, we had a really good email off a guy called Dean, who's an English bloke but lives in America, and that's exactly what he said. He said he loved the bonus podcast. He's in the clubhouse, which means he listens to every episode, which is perfect. It was minus seventeen degrees Celsius. And he went out for a walk, and that was him, a little selfie there. Wow. Um, just a really effort. nice email to say that he really enjoyed it. He's a Leeds United fan. So as a fake Manchester United fan, you should have a real hatred yeah, towards yeah. Dean. Oh, yeah. Should I? Yeah, you should oh, have. Right, okay. From, from the early 2000s, I think it was. <laughs> Harry, Harry will tell us more about that, I think. But yeah, I think you should hate him. <laughs> but so, I really like Harry, Harry Kuhl and um, Alan Smith, was he called? Yeah, good, good. So it's like <laughs> Lee Bowyer. Uh, was he? Was he? I'll say, oh, good, yeah. Really good. Lebo, you did that famous, like, was it a free kick or a shot where it hit, like, the crossbar and bounced, bounced in? Well, no. It was. Bo- Who was that? Yeboa. Oh, your Boa. I'm thinking of Lee Bowie. Was, right, was Lee Bowie yeah. another fight for Newcastle against Kieran Dyer? <laughs> sorry, yeah. just asking our football um, expert here. So sorry, everyone. Rick learnt new football's name <laughs> of the weekend. He's going to say me. <laughs> Um, and then the final question, and a bit of a bland one for the top ans- for the top uh, most asked one, but was, does Rick Shields do golf lessons? Oh, that is a bit of a bland one. Could have gone much wor- more than that. Um, so, uh, obviously, I coached for many, many years. Uh, I turned professional when I was two- in 2008. So, I was coaching for 12 years or so. And then last summer, obviously, with everything going on and you couldn't coach, I kind of had to make a bit of a decision about which direction I wanted to go in. At the moment, coaching's on the back burner. I moved away from Gol- Live and Gol- uh, hell, Live and Golf Academy. <laughs> moved away from there for a long time ago. But Prairie Sports Village, we did a video about it. And um, at the moment, coaching's on the back burner. I still really love it. I'm still very passionate about it. I still want to help golfers around the world. But just from a business standpoint right now, it's not quite where I need to be. So stay tuned. It may happen again in the future.